Hot and Pop Thrift, how's it going, guys? It has been a hot minute, and let me tell you what, it's because I have been selling like gangbusters. I've done almost $10,000 in the last month, so I've been just focusing on growing the business, and I'm gonna talk to you guys about that. I've got a couple of tips. We're gonna hit a couple of thrift stores, and then we're going to uh, go over probably just the highlights of what sold since I last talked to you, so let's get into it. Hey, can we talk real quick about promoted listings? Because I heard somebody say they would never do promoted listings. Why pay eBay more money for the same product? And I get that, except look at this. Just sitting here bored for a couple minutes, I did the math, and out of my first 50 items, it came up an even split. 25 sold not promoted, 25 sold on promoted. So I promote everything at 2%. So my $22,000 in sales over the last 90 days, let's say that half of those did sell because of promoted listings at 2%. That puts me at 440, but only half of them did I pay promoted listings on. So it's only $220 to get those $11,000 worth of sales. So the way I see it, it's like I got $11,000 of those sales, approximately half on promoted listings at 2%, which cost me $440. And I'd say that's well worth paying eBay for. Even if it is more than the inflated fees that we already pay as eBay sellers, it's still worth it. I was told by a viewer that I should fix more stuff. And so let's do that. I tend to be pretty good at fixing stuff. This controller does not work. It has brand new batteries in it and it had corroded to death batteries in it when I bought it. So what do you do? Simple, generic, white vinegar. And I'll just take, what I normally do is just take the cap and pour a little bit into the cap. Simple, easy way to work. Now, just a balled up paper towel and you wipe down these contacts. And this does not always work, but it's so simple to try. And it does work enough of the time. I suspect it's gonna work on these because they weren't in real bad shape. What you're trying to do is get the buildup from the battery explosion off of the ends of these contacts. And so sometimes you can flick it and it'll break that stuff up and it makes a fun noise. And just white vinegar, pressing on there, dry them off a little bit with the other end of the paper towel. Batteries in there again. Let's see if it works. If you're seeing this spoiler, it works. If you're not, it didn't work. And boom, just like that, she works. It's trying to sync up to an Xbox that isn't here. Good morning, welcome to Mod and Pop Thrift. If you are trying to test something like this creepy little dancing bear, and it takes C batteries because it's vintage and your C batteries are evidently dead, Double A's are the same width and the same charge, it's just not as big around. So literally, it's the same battery. They're interchangeable as long as they fit, as long as you can make them fit. Thank you. 
flying. Heavy, come this way. Oh. That one had me for a second. St. Mark's. You always want to flex old, old shoes like this. Make sure they're not going to just come apart. I don't know. These are definitely old school, made in Taiwan. Um, Mizuno high tops. But I don't know if the market would be there if I'd have to sit on them forever. And then these. These are five bucks. I'm going to probably get them because they uh, sell every time that I have them. And then there's these, and I haven't looked them up yet. Lucky. Adidas. I was thinking that with this symbol that they were going to be Nike. I don't know. Let me see if I can find anything about those. At $8. With that much stylistic going on, I think they're probably something. I just don't know what yet. Unbeknownst to me, everything was half price. So I got uh, these for two bucks. So I'm definitely glad I picked those up. I was on the fence. And I mean, it's not like the two bucks makes much difference. They're either going to sell or they're not. And that's my concern is whether or not there's a market for them. They're awesome, but I don't know that anybody's looking for them. These combat boots I got for $2.50 because they were five bucks. This, I think people call this a jungle boot. I suspect that it's Vietnam era. It's a soft toe size eight and a half um well i guess it's not vietnam air it's 87 but these were they would have been issued then anyway these are a pretty popular boot i'll probably get 40 plus shipping for those this shirt is a spirit wear shirt for my son's uh school uh, for me to keep and then this comps like the sales were really good there's a lot of solds and only five or six listed for around 25 dollars, and i paid three These are the 80s just chairs that I have ever seen in my life. Maybe late 80s, early 90s, but come on. These, I think my mom might want. So the real reason we're in this store is because I bought a thing the other day and it didn't have the cord with it. And I was like, I'm gonna see if I can find the cord. And there it is, right there. This is the cord to my popcorn popper that I bought the other day. It was in the box and it was sitting over there, but the cord was over here. These are probably okay. worth picking up. If this one had a Whoa. lid, it's like a post light Whoa. with this ornate pattern on it. It's 10 bucks. If it had the top, this one looks like it has the same pattern, but it's like a hanging light. Oh, it has a name on it. So I'm gonna look it up. It has a different top than I would expect this one to, but it's obviously the same thing. 
So it makes me wonder whether or not this is the original tough. But man, it's gotta be. All right, let me count this real quick. So I didn't end up recording at the end of that Habitat for Humanity stop. So let me show you the handful of things that I got that didn't make the video. This you end up saw, did see, it says Hanover Lantern, but I think that is referring to the style more than the brand, but I still think this is a 40 or $50 lamp plus shipping. And that is plastic, so I'm not gonna break it. I am a sucker for stuff with this kind of advertisement on it, and I thought Relief Pitcher was very funny. Um, turns out, probably, I mean, I only spent a dollar, so it's not worth, it's not like I'm out much, but it probably, I should have comped it, because it only comps at like maybe $15 free shipping. This is a Jack LaLanne juicer. Um, I paid like five bucks for it. And I wouldn't pay a ton for them, but this the they part out really easily. This piece sells by itself, and I'll put a comp up. This piece doesn't sell. This blade sells all by itself, and this strainer sells all by itself. This piece that goes between the strainer and the motor doesn't sell. Um, so I'll get rid of those two pieces and then the motor will sell by itself and I'll probably get 45 or 50 dollars in profit after shipping Except I just broke the pusher because it fell I actually ended up finding two of this cord and If they work If one of them works for my popcorn stir crazy which is worth parting out uh, incidentally here's some comps on that stuff um then that'll make it like a 40 dollar plus shipping thing and if they don't work if the thing doesn't work but i can prove that these cords work and are for that or would work for that then they'll they'll be ten dollars a piece so that's everything that i got at the habitat store okay, so this was kind of a weird deal i went to a yard sale kind of it was a bunch of people throwing stuff out of a building do you see evie on there up oh. hi evie um and they were moving their business out but they looked like they were junkers and um and they gave evelyn a birthday balloon i think it says feel better i don't know anyway if one of them said happy birthday and one of them said uh, feel better and I let one of them blow away so she kept one wow. whatever anyway um, they had this in a cabinet and I was like wow. how much is that and it's not like super old it's not porcelain but it's also not new like if you look the, there's damage on it and the damage is older um, it doesn't have a date or anything to indicate but I did just find a sold comp for it for 60 bucks um, and then this snapback, Esquire Magazine, 1983 uh, snapback. It's not K brand or anything fancy, but it is a uh, it's a nice snapback with a cool advertisement on it. And so uh, when I go to the ATM, I always tell it I want $10 bills. And I, she asked me how much I'd be willing to pay for that stuff. I said, all I've got is $10 bills on me. If you'll take one of those for both of these, then I'll do that. I really don't want to pay 20 bucks for them. And she's like, 10 bucks is fine. So uh, that's where we, how we landed at 10 bucks on those two items. We're gonna hit one more thrift store after we hit lunch. And Evelyn is playing with her balloon. All right, so this is fun. Um, the last video, piece of this video I taped was listing this thing, right? I told you I found comps for like 60 bucks. So I listed this for $60 free shipping and it sold in the last 20 minutes. So this was listed for like 20 minutes. I paid $5 for it and it sold for 60 bucks free shipping. Maybe my hat. So I paid $10 at that garage sale sale and this I listed for 40 and that I listed for 60. So $100 out of my 10. Maybe that one will sell before we get home too. That'd be fun. And then after we picked up the kids from school and we sold that sign, which I think I'm totally amazed at that, that that sold that fast. And I don't feel like I underpriced it because I went on Terra Peak 
and looked and that was the selling price on a lot of them. I mean, it, I, I guess I could have asked $79.99 and let it sit there or I could be excited that I took, that I listed it at $60, which was as, which was higher than the last sold one. And it sold immediately. There were none listed. So I could have tried to set the market at 80 or $90, but I would rather see it gone for 60 than sit in my store for 90. This is a spare tire cover from 2008. I don't think the price tag's on it anymore. I paid $3 for it. There's a sold comp for 20 plus shipping on a used one. Harley Davidson sells most of the time. These are do rags. They were $1.50 a piece. Uh, Virginia Beach. This one's Willie G. Um, and there were two of these. And then there was another one that was military. Uh, salute to the military from 2010. So I don't know how well I'll do on those, but $1.50 on these, I'm not gonna pass them up. Uh, this hat is just a regular hunting hat, except it has headlights in it. And they had it as not working, needing batteries. And I was like, really? That's weird. And I flipped it open and this is the battery compartment. And you can get to the batteries and somebody had just stuck paper underneath this battery to keep it from dying out. And so I had it working in the store with the tag on it that said not working. This Jenga surprised me. This is the place where I find video, where I find uh, board games for a dollar and I found um, Eureka and Murder, She Wrote at the same time. So this was a dollar and it is a hard case Jenga and it's complete and it was a dollar and the comps were like 35 on that. I thought I needed this for a uh, Darth Vader that I had, uh, but I can't find the mask that I had that was that had no helmet. My helmet does, or my mask does have a helmet. So it was a dollar. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with that. I haven't run comps here, I'll put a comp up. Of, I'm sure somebody has sold just this helmet. Uh, at any rate, it, I'm out a dollar if it's no good. These, Levi insisted that we get these. This is the Honey Cheerios guy. And this is Count Chocula. Um, and these are 1997 new in the bag. And they comp for like six bucks a piece and they were 50 cents. And I thought, well, he's excited about them. I will buy them for a dollar and make eight bucks if I sell them for 12 plus shipping, something like that. And then these were a dollar. And they are neat. They are blow molds. They are from Ruby's. And Ruby's makes really high quality costume stuff that's reasonably collectible. Not high quality is the wrong word, but it's good costume stuff rubies these are from 1978 and they are made in the usa blow mold clown shoes and the thing said a dollar a piece on the items in this bucket and i was like does a pair of shoes count as one thing or are they a dollar each and i would have paid either way but these sell for like 25 dollars plus shipping it was not all the stuff we got at that thrift store. There was a couple other things that I'd already brought inside and kind of forgot about while we were doing the haul outside. Willie Do-Rag and, uh, and this Harley Davidson 2010 salute to the military. And then this is recently discontinued children's programming toys. This was a dollar and fifty cents, I want to say. Yeah, a dollar and fifty cents. This is from the Octonauts which was either on Disney Junior or um, Nick Junior, but then it moved to Netflix and it remains popular. This one I haven't tested with batteries yet, but it's supposed to make music and stuff. And then it would have had three or four figurines with it and made noises when you press the buttons. But as of yet, I haven't had a chance to test it. But uh, the last sold comp on this one without any accessories was $45 plus shipping. And that thrift store had this sitting on the shelf, but then it had 
a bucket full of like Happy Meal toys. So I think I'm going to go back in that thrift store tomorrow and see if I can't find the little guys that would have gone with it or maybe some other, like if you're familiar with his show, there's like five or six scientist animals and they all have their own cars called Gups, Gups, I think, Gup A and Gup B. Anyway, and uh, this would have come with a couple of toy sharks. And I suspect if that stuff had got donated with this thing, they would have landed in the Happy Meal toy bin. So I'm going to go dig through that tomorrow when they're open. Uh, but either way, this is 45 bucks. If I get all the accessories, it's 100 Octonauts. Don't sleep on little kids. Canceled programming. And this is not recently canceled programming. This was $2. It just says 1997. Um, or 1990 something. Hasbro. And I'm like, how am I going to figure out what that is? Well, it turns out it's Barney. And there's only two listed. And the tree grows when you move the elevator up. The tree comes to life there's only two listed both of them are around about fifty dollars plus shipping there are no solds not even on terapeak so it's reasonably rare and i'm gonna pro I, you guys know me i'll probably go 48 dollars free shipping and just undercut the market that exists because i don't want to sit on it forever i want it to sell oh yeah and this this is a like side table or an ottoman that would go with this chair and they had the chair too but i'm like this is so small and so light and rarer. So it's gonna, I'm, I would rather deal with just this. So it was a dollar and 50 cents. See if I can get you to see that. A dollar and 50 cents. And the last one sold on eBay for $70 plus shipping. But I don't, but the legs come off the sides. So I don't imagine that uh, the, I don't imagine this is going to be too tough to sell. I'll just unscrew those screws. So if I peel the legs off of it and put them in with it, it'll be easy to ship. And uh, $1.50 into probably 50 bucks anyway. It's kind of getting cold to sell this kind of stuff now. But All right, well, I'm going to say that's officially it for things that we bought at thrift stores today that you guys haven't seen. If I missed anything else, you'll just have to miss out. I don't think I did. It wasn't interesting enough to remember at this point anyway.